Today, we are going to be talking about what makes Angel Bird Drives the better choice. On today's Video Guys Live, and Jenny, if you can roll the bump, let's get this show on the road. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Video Guys Live. I'm Adam Noyce. I'm a video production specialist here at Video Guys. And today we're going to be talking about what, make, what makes Angel Bird the better choice. We're going to talk about some of the products that they have and what they offer, the differences with some of the products that they offer, because sometimes that can get confusion, uh, confusing. And ultimately, what actually does make Angel Bird the better choice. So... Let's start off with what is Angel Bird? Who is Angel Bird is actually the better way to refer to it. Now, Angel Bird, they make storage for content creators. And I know we have a video that, yeah, there we go. And they are a great source for professional media storage. And quite frankly, the footage speaks for itself. If you look at the uh, footage that is playing over my shoulder, you'll see that they have an assortment of different types of environments in which their storage solutions are being used for uh, within that, uh, within certain different cameras and stuff like that, be it on the road, uh, be it uh, in the middle of the woods, or be it actually on a true film set, their cards are being used. It's for an assortment of different ways, or assortment of different environments. And that's because Angel Bird likes to do something they like to call it a product rebellion. And that's because Angel Bird offers the highest quality of cards. And they engineer the latest technology for creative production. Now, what does that all mean? What, what does that all mean? So basically, it's a commitment to making the best media solutions. And that's because they're constantly tweaking to better their technology. And to dive into that just a little bit further, essentially what happens is they're getting more camera certifications daily. Camera certifications just means that somebody has tested this drive uh, with this camera and they've discovered that it is the optimal work environment for that drive and that camera. They're getting tons of different certifications a day. And that's because one of the things that they really pride themselves on is, is a commitment to only release new cards or, or a new product line when they are 100% confident in the technology. They, if a new tech gets released, they won't release that. They won't necessarily jump on that bandwagon until they know they can optimize those drives, that they can optimize those for those cameras. They won't release it until they are 100% confident with the tech. Which goes into reliability. Angel Bird designs and engineers products you can 100% trust on. They understand that confidence in your equipment is the key to your creative freedom. You have to be able to trust your equipment to really make the content that you wish to make. Now, this means Angel Bird is perfect for a complete workflow, be it from production to post-production when you're dumping everything on a computer, when you're backing stuff up and stuff like that, or editing. Angel Bird is a perfect solution from start to finish. Now, that also means that you don't necessarily need to worry about uh, tons of backup. Uh, if you're like me, who doesn't always properly back up all of their stuff, Angel Bird is someone you might want to invest in because their stuff is really durable and reliable and in all sorts of different sorts of environments. Though I will say this, P.S., backups are really good. I recommend backing stuff up at least twice, uh, that ju just because if something, you get a flood or something like that, an act of God happens, uh, now you have a backup. You're not going to lose all that hard work. And again, if you lose that hard work, that's a lot of money wasted, a lot of money that you ha now have nothing to show for, or lost, that now you have nothing to show for it. Angel Bird also has great service because Angel Bird, this is probably the number one thing that I really like about Angel Bird. They produce for the individual. And what do I mean by that? 
they look at you basically by a case by case example or a case by case basis. They respond to the individual content creator. Now, a lot of companies, some companies, but a lot of companies, let's face it, like to produce for masses. They produce a card, they send it out there, and they have no real support for it. That isn't Angelbird. If you have a problem with a card or you discovered a glitch of some kind, Angelbird wants to hear about that glitch. They want to hear about the problems that you're having with it so that they can improve upon it, which is what really separates them from other companies. And they are constantly, and I've said this earlier, I'm going to say it again, they are constantly upgrading their certifications. For example, recently the AV Pro CF Express Mark II 2 terabyte drive is now certified to be used with the Red V Raptor. This is a recent development. And a part of that comes down to design, the Angel Bird design. And that's because their attention is not necessarily on flashy design, but on true functionality. Angelbird designs features that basically they consider all the realities of real world work environments. And it's because the people that are doing the designing, doing the techs, the, the techie stuff behind the scenes with all these drives, these are real engineers for workflow optimization. Angelbird, they are real people. They are re real people with real world experiences. They do what I do, they do what you do, be it you on a, a professional level or on an independent level. Angel Bird is real people. They can relate to your stories and stuff like that. So here's an example and one that I can actually attest to. Uh, Harold, <laughs> Harold relies on the Angel Bird SD cards in the SSD drives. Uh, because with his gear, he's going in a bunch of different environments, in a bunch of different workflow environments. For example, here, this is in Celsius, by the way, not Fahrenheit as it should be. Uh, 20, uh, he's going in negative 20 degree Celsius all the way up into plus 35 degrees Celsius. So he's working in the extreme ranges of different sorts of environments. I can relate to this because, as I mentioned in the pre-show, I've taken these cards out in negative 20 degree Fahrenheit uh, weather, and they've worked fantastic. They work just fine. Now, granted, it wasn't as extreme as negative 20 degrees Celsius, but negative 20 degrees is still pretty darn cold, quite frankly, and they work great, so I can attest to their durability. Now, Angelbird offers stored solutions for all sorts of workflows, and it's not limited to what you see here. We've got RED, Panasonic, ARRI, Sony, Fujifilm, Nikon, Canon, and more. One that I work with and which they have certified solutions for is uh, Blackmagic. I have a Blackmagic Pocket 6K. That is my cine camera. Uh, and they have solutions for that as well. Now, if you want to see if they have certif certifications for a camera that you have, if you go on... Uh, Angel Bird's website, you can actually choose your camera. You can actually click the drop down and you'll see all sorts, as you can see here, all sorts of different options. And once you click on them, they'll show you what's certified with what, what is optimal with what. And that's one of the great benefits of Angel Bird. Again, they're thinking of the content creator in mind first and foremost. So let's actually get into the products in which Angel Bird has to offer. The first one I want to talk about is the CF Express 2.0 Type B cards. Now, let's look at this <laughs> because the speeds on these are absolutely astonishing. So these are built to handle up to 12K resolutions. Now, I'm still using 4K resolutions, so I guess I really got to step up my game because 12K? Wow. Okay, so... These are available in a few different options from 160 gigabyte cards all the way up to four terabyte cards. But the thing that really impresses me about these drives is how fast they are. 1,785 megabits per second. Again, it's designed to handle up to 12K workflows. So if you buy these cards, you're also future-proofing yourself because while 
most of your projects are not going to be shot in 12K. We know that the UHD qualities and stuff like that are going to go up as they go on. So you're future-proofing yourself. Now there is also the AV Pro CF Express SE and SX cards. These are two different things. Uh, and these also have um, 1,785 megabits per second uh, speeds. And they are available in 512 gigabytes and 160 gigabytes, as you can see here. But recently, they introduced the next, gen, uh, the next generation of these, which is the AV Pro CF Express Mark II, which is the next generation of CF Express Type B uh, cards for raw 12K plus videos and photos. And that's because these are for large capacities. These are built to handle large capacity productions. Uh, and these, let's see, are available if you look at the CF Express Type B. It's available from one terabyte all the way to four terabytes. And I would just like to say that the two terabyte has indeed been red certified for the V Raptor. And then if you go to the AV Pro XT model, they go from 330 gigabytes all the way up to 1,320 gigabyte cards. And the read-write speed is the same, 1,785 megabits per second. Now, how are you going to get them on your computer? Well, Angelbird has thought of that. And their solution is the CF Express uh, card reader Mark II. These are specifically designed for the Mark II cards uh, in mind. And now they can increase your transfer speeds even more. So if you are starting with an AngelBird product, AngelBird's recommending that you end with an AngelBird product for the, for the uh, best optimization of your workflow with up to 20 gigabytes per second connectivity. 20 gigabytes per second. That's astonishing. That's wonderful, wonderful fast speeds. Because again, in this workflow sort of environment, time is money. This is going to save you time and money. Next, we're going to go to the CFAST 2.0. Like the other ones, these are built for high-capacity media for continuous shooting and extensive raw video recording because anyone who is shooting in uh, the cinema realm, be it for a commercial or something along those lines, you are probably handling raw in some way. So the CFAST 2.0 cards would be a perfect solution for you. And they are available in 256 gigabyte cards all the way up to one terabyte. And these, can, these have up to 560 megabits per second, a still extraordinarily fast uh, speed. Now, if you are really in the cine realm and you have a red camera, the Angelbird AV Pro CF Express Mark II 2, two, two terabyte drive is indeed certified for the Red V Raptor, as I explained earlier, for perfect optimization. And then the AV Pro CF uh, Express card at 256 gigabyte cards at 560 megabits per second trans, uh, speed is also certified for the Red Komodo 6K. And again, this certification is only growing as time goes on. It's only increasing as time goes on. It, the more certifications, more certifications are coming out, it's only going to get better, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're shooting with a red Komodo, how are you going to get it on your computer? Well, here's a good workflow for you. You can take that Angelbird AV Pro CFast 2.0 card, and you can bring it in to the Angelbird CFast 2.0 card reader, which has a USB-C or USB 3.2, same kind of thing. And you can get up to 10 gigabits per second in just speeds. And again, this is for the optimization uh, using AngelBird, is what AngelBird is recommending. AngelBird recommends that if you're starting with AngelBird, you should end with AngelBird. You're going to get the fastest possible speeds. Now, if you're shooting with the Red V Raptor, you can take your AngelBird AV Pro CF Express Mark II Type B card, and you can insert that into the AngelBird CF Express card reader Mark II. Same type of optimization that I had mentioned earlier, just applying with this card instead of the one previous. Then we have the SDXC UHS 
twos or mark twos. Now, let's face it, these are probably the most common cards that you're going to see out there. And there's a reason for that, and that's because most of the cameras take these sorts of cards. Uh, so these are the ones that you're probably going to see most out there. Uh, it's not necessarily saying these are better than the others. It just means that they are the most common. In fact, these are the type of cards that I use most often. Now, the first one you have is the V60. And uh, the V60, it's fast, reliable, and the most important part is it is widely compatible. And you have those ranging from 64 gigabytes all the way to 256 gigabytes. And they, have, uh, they can do 280 megabits per second. And then you have its older brother, essentially, <laughs> the slightly bigger model, which is the V90, which is built specifically for high resolution, 4K and up video recording uh, with SDXC UHS-2 V90 memory cards. And they, again, go from anything from 64 gigabytes all the way up to 256 gigabytes for a very, very good price. And these uh, can read and write up to, these can go up to 300 megabits per second. So a little bit more than the V60. So if you need that extra speed, the V90 is where it's at. So how do you get those onto your computer? Well, it's, <laughs> it's quite simple, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're shooting with a Sony Alpha 7 or an Alpha 9 where these are certified for, for perfect optimization, uh, you could possibly get a match pack where we have two of these available. And we have the, the dual ones available, again, for all of the uh, sizes of these cards, going from 64 gigabytes all the way to 256 gigabytes. And that is for either uh, the V60 or V90. No, okay, my apologies. It's 300 megabits read speed, 280 megabits write speed. My, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen, my apologies. And you can plug those into the SD dual card reader that Angelbird offers for unrestricted speeds for simultaneous offload. So now you don't just have to do one of these SD cards at once. Now you can plug them both in and you can start dumping the footage off of them at the same time. As I said earlier, time is money. This is both saving you time and money. So if you're shooting with Panasonic, like I do quite frequently, you can use the V90 cards, and you can, uh, and these are the two packs that we're talking about. These are uh, optimized, these are certified, Angelbird certified to work with these Panasonic cameras. Uh, let's see, I lost my train of thought, and I deeply apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, so you can use it for the Panasonic EVA-1, or the AVA-1, depending on how you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, and then for the Match Pack Canon EOS R6, that uses the SDXC V90 high-capacity media for the uh, GH5 or the GH5S. And as you can see, the proper sizes are listed there, going from 64 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes. Now, these are used for in all sorts of people. Here's just one example from Joshua Martin Studios. Uh, and I got this from Angelbird's website. But he is using the Angelbird AV Pro SD cards with his Lumix GH5. And I thought this was important because the GH5s are really popular for people who are independent. I've seen them all over the place just to show the sort of assortment or, or just how compatible these cards are. The GH5 was important for me because they are so common. Now, I just want to say this. A little birdie told me that it was just announced that the uh, GH6 is now out there. So I am super excited to get my hands on those. Super excited to get my hand on that to play with it. And also, I know Angelbird is excited to play with it because, again, they want to get those certifications out there. So super excited for that. So I've already kind of been talking about the memory card readers. Um, now, here's what they are. Here's what they are if we're going to break them down. So you have the SD dual card reader that's available uh, for those of you who are using those SD card workflows and stuff like that. You also have the CFast 2.0 card readers for those who are using the CFast, uh, the CFast workflows. Then, of course, you have the CF Express card reader 
for the Mark II Type Bs. They're all laid out here. Angelbird has a solution for whatever workflow you have. Now, for those of you who are using Atomos products, like I find myself doing quite frequently, the Angelbird SSD Mini is a perfect companion to the Ninja V by design, and I'll get into that in a little bit. It easily supports 10-bit 4K 60 frames per second recordings and works with the latest cameras such as the Panasonic GH5, the GH5S, the Fujifilm X-T3, the Nikon Z6 and Z7, and the Canon EOS R. Now, this is also a perfect example of Angel Bird listening. For a while there, Atomos just had a 7-inch monitor, right? They just had the 7-inch monitors. And so Angel Bird designed a, a, an SD card, an SSD drive, built for that uh, model in mind, for, for that 7 inches in, in mind. So that when they come up with a Ninja V, which is their 5-inch monitor, which is what I have here, suddenly you pop in that drive, and it would stick out, right? It would stick out. Help if I had this the right way. It would stick out, like, really far, and it would be kind of awkward and kind of clunky. So Atomos went to Angelbird and said, hey, can you design a drive that does the same exact stuff as that larger one that you put into the 7-inch models, but just make it smaller? And Angel Bird said, let's try. And they did. They succeeded, which is why they made the uh, Angel Bird SSD Mini. So here are what you can use if you're using Atomos. First, you have the Atom X 4K RAW, which were those original drives. And then they sort of made this for the, the SSD Mini, specifically for the 5-inch monitors in mind, uh, which come from 500 gigabytes all the way up to 2 terabytes. And then you have the Atom X CFast adapter, which is really important because, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people are just using those CFast cards. A lot of people are still using those workflows. Now, instead of having to buy an all-new drive, per se, if you're familiar with the workflows of a CFast card, now all you need to do is buy this adapter, and you can use that CFast card in your Atomos monitor. Now, I'm not necessarily saying it's going to have all of the same perks and benefits as the Atom X SSD Mini or the Atom X 4K RAW, but if you're already in that workflow, and you don't have a lot of money to spend because you're an independent or something like that, like me, this would be a good workaround. This is a good solution for you. The, that's the Atom X CFast adapter, which plugs right into your uh, Ninja, or, well, your Atomos device. Here's another uh, user experience. And what they did is they used the Angel Bird Atom X SSD Mini with their Atomos Ninja V, and they used it with a Panasonic GH5. You see the GH5, it tends to pop up quite frequently. <laughs> That's one reason why we chose these. But again, perfect, perfect solution. And that's going to wrap up today's show on what makes Angelbird the better choice. In today's show, we discussed the different types of cards that are available from, from Angelbird. Uh, also, why you should choose Angelbird. What makes them different? What makes them better? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to tune in every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We go live to Facebook and YouTube. Uh, again, that is every Tuesday at 3 p.m. And we go live. We discuss a lot of these sort of topics and stuff like that. So make sure to like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. And in the end, this is Adam Noyce of Video Guys saying... Sayonara. Join us next week for a great webinar on the YOLO Box and the YOLO Box Pro. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.